Joining us now at the table is uh, Terry Kopi, who is the state uh, deputy's uh, director's wife, and uh, she's uh, welcomed th us here with her presence on the set. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about um, having the Supreme Convention here in Orlando and what it's been like for you so far. Oh my goodness, um, it's been fabulous. I mean, every day just gets better and better. It's been a couple of years of planning, a lot of meetings and uh, you know making decisions on uh, how we wanted things to roll out. So now that we're actually here, we can't turn back. <laughs> <laughs> and it, every day just keeps getting better and better. So yeah. we're excited that today, opening ceremony, opening mass. I made the mistake earlier uh, in speaking uh, during the mass as we were just introducing the whole day uh, and saying that it's, it's been a year of preparation, but in, indeed I was corrected, it's been two years <laughs> of hard work and preparation. Yes. Lots of committees to put together, chairman to select and yeah. Now were you, were you here, um, uh, I believe it was like six years ago when the... Um, 2006. Uh, 2006, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, Paul was in charge of the hierarchy, bringing in the bishops and the cardinals. Okay. So we, so little he was doing one thing, I was <laughs> off doing another, but uh, so. Yeah, I'm a little... But we were very busy back then yeah. too. <laughs> and now it's a little different. Now we're, now we're hosting it. Yeah. So yeah. that's exciting. And you're not going to be, be able to relax personally until at least tomorrow afternoon because you have a major event that you've been working on and planning for. Uh, could you tell us about that? The ladies of Florida are hosting a luncheon tomorrow afternoon. Uh, our theme is friends are like seashells we collect along the way. So we will be celebrating friendships and um, our entertainment is a group out of Plant City, uh, NRG a group of, of lifetime friends. They can't be more than high school age, but you know they uh, have a high energy, high octane, uh, positive message, and they'll do a, uh, some entertainment for us. And of course, we will have a, a raffle. We've been selling raffle on a beautiful quilt and some paintings. And uh, you know, give a few gifts away. Excellent. And just enjoy each other's friendships. And, and talk about that too, and we've expanded on that and the friendships that you've made uh, being involved w with the Knights and the Knights families and uh, how has that enriched your life and your faith life as well? Oh my goodness, yes. Um, Paul and I both are from the Minneapolis area, so okay. our families are there. So when we moved to Florida uh, 31 years ago, we had two little babies in tow and, and boy, we had to, uh, we got involved in the church down here and uh, you know, that's, what, that's our family. Huh. That's where we made our friends. And Paul became a knight. And uh, we, you know, you just become very close. Yeah. So. One of our projects here as we do this live broadcast of the 132nd Supreme Convention is to lift the veil off of the Knights of Columbus because a lot of people have preconceived notions about the Knights, but it really is very much about the wives and family and children and the support of parishes and dioceses. Um, what, are, what has the Knights done for you uh, as an individual, uh, as, a, as a wife and, and, and mother? I think uh, for me personally, it's kind of pushed me out of my nest. Huh. You know, I kind of, uh, I was, uh, enjoyed being, you know, Paul headed out the door and got involved with the church or the nights and other things that I kind of stayed behind and made sure dinner was ready and on the table when he got home so we'd get head out to the next meeting or event and, uh, you know, the usual bringing soccer moms and you know t-ball moms and things and Paul would meet us at the game you know coming back from a meeting or something but then all of a sudden I had opportunity to get a little more involved as the kids got older so uh, they're um, in full support I have two so our two sons are fourth degree knights my son-in-law uh -huh. just became a first degree knight oh nice so yeah so it's been very um, they're all very supportive of what dad does and you know, now that mom's not just tagging behind, mom's kind of right there beside him, so, you know. And that state deputy boy, Paul, he must be a great guy. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing off to the side, just so everybody knows. <laughs> but that's wonderful to, to hear that uh, your, your sons are, are involved, too, and, and, and how that has grown. We were talking about families and seeing a lot of families here, too, and a lot of people have... Uh, you know, sort of make it a vacation as well, and, and uh, the family aspects of, of the nights too, and how that has enriched uh, your family life. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Absolutely. My, um, my sons just came back from Guatemala. Monsignor Tom Skindaleski, our state chaplain, takes a group of knights and their sons every year down there, and they work at a school. Wow. Octana Meet down there, and my sons the last two years have both met up. One is in Boston, the other one is here in Florida, so they've met up and joined Monsignor and his group. Paul hasn't been able to go these last couple of years because he has other obligations, but he's went several times before and the boys were interested and they said, we'll go dad. And so Paul's looking forward to breaking his schedule one of these years to start, <laughs> only to pick it up and start joining them. Just to show you, Terry, what a family affair this is. The two great guys who are on camera, <laughs> father and son, Knights of Columbus. So it's all in the family here in it is. Orlando. We love it. Yeah. Well, we thank you so much, uh, Terry, for being with us, and uh, we wish you all the best uh, in the luncheon tomorrow, thank too. You. I'm sure it's going to go great. We're uh, excited. And uh, thank you for being uh, a host here for everybody uh, as you. well.